In this video, I'll show you how to add depth to your portraits by making an adjustable corner out of fabric walls. Hello, I'm Gavin Hoey, and you're watching Adorama TV, brought to you by Adorama, the camera store that's got everything for us photographers. Now, recently, I added a corner to my small home studio, and when I built the wall, I designed it so I can actually change the angle and get more creative effects. But when I built it, well, basically, I built it way too much, way too heavy, I can't move it, but the idea has stuck. So what I've created are walls made of fabric. And these are great because I can lift them around, move them about, and create walls with corners of any angle. The idea is I want to make a portrait in a corner where I get a real sense of depth by allowing the background to drop out to black. However, things have not really gone to plan, and that's before I've taken a single photo. Some of the things are my fault, others are just restrictions of a small home studio. The best way to go through them so you don't make the same mistakes is to get a model in, let's get a light set, and let's talk about some compromises. Well, the one thing I've definitely not compromised on is our model. So today I'm joined by the awesome Chloe. Chloe's gonna be helping me out for this shoot but let's talk about the things I have compromised on, and I'm gonna start with the actual fabric itself. So I bought four meters, so roughly each side is two meters by 1.4 meters, that's 80 inches by about 55 inches. That is just about enough, but definitely more fabric would have made this shoot a lot easier. Then there is the height in my room, which is a real limitation, because what I'd like to do is put a light up there with a big soft box, but if I did that, it would come down so far, we really wouldn't be able to see the top of Chloe at all. So I've had a rummage around. I found this really shallow Parapop softbox. I've got my Evolve 200 and pushed it a long way inside. And I think that's gonna give me just enough height in this room. Finally, there is the position of the light. So what I'd like is both of these bits of fabric lit evenly. That means I need a central lighting position. And in theory, that would mean that the light stand is right in the way. So what I've done is I've moved the light behind the camera position and I put it on a boom arm so it's not in the way. Okay, so I've got everything set up. Let's just take a test shot and see how we look right now. So Chloe, are you ready? Yes. Here we go. So at the moment, I've got a picture with some fairly poor lighting. Chloe's correctly lit, but the back, the back of that fabric is exactly the same exposure as the front. There's no depth in this picture. So how am I gonna make the back of this go black? Well, usually I would put some grids on my light to control the direction, but this Parapop doesn't have an option of a grid and I can't make one fit it. Or I could always take the front cover off and use that to control the light. But annoyingly, it's stitched on. More compromises. But there are a few things I can do. And it starts with the actual fabric itself. Because I know that if I use dark colored fabric, it's gonna be dark and black much quicker than if I was using white fabric. Then there is the direction of the light. I've angled it straight down, which means I feathered it away from the background and that should control the spill back there just a little bit. Finally, there's the good old inverse square law. So I've got this really close to Chloe. As a result, the exposure on Chloe is gonna be very different to the exposure at the back of the scene. And I'm gonna check that out by doing a quick bit of work with the light meter. So let's take a meter reading from where Chloe is standing. So Chloe, I'm gonna pop this near your chin. And that's set to f5.6, which is exactly what I'm shooting. Let's go right to the background, right up the top, so I'm not in Chloe's shadow. Up here, I'm getting f0.9. That's quite a difference in illumination and should mean that that area goes, well, pretty much black. Let's take a test shot, see how this looks. Are you ready, Chloe? Absolutely. Here we go. So this is looking really good, but what I would like are slightly brighter walls and I can actually do that surprisingly easily. So the whole purpose of making walls out of fabric is they are incredibly easy to move. So I've made them a tighter angle. The theory is, the closer the walls get to the light source, the brighter they become. That's the inverse square law. I haven't changed the exposure on Chloe, she should be exactly the same. Let's take a test shot, see if it works. Here we go. 
So that looks really good. Those walls are brightly lit and I have a really dark shadow behind Chloe. There isn't much light in her eyes because of the direction of our key light being elevated above her head. So what I've done is I've added a second softbox way back behind the camera. That's there for one purpose only, to add a small highlight into her eye. It's on a really low power. It's not going to affect the exposure, but we'll just see that little reflection of it in her eye. So everything is now good to go. So I think we're ready to do a shoot. So Chloe, are you ready? Here we go. Now you might be wondering about creases. Well, this fabric is pretty good at hiding them. And I've done my best to minimize creases, particularly at the front where they're likely to be seen. I've also asked Chloe not to press hard onto the fabric because of course it would bend and that could look just a little bit strange in the photos. Despite all my compromises, I think I've achieved more or less what I set out to do. At least I'm really happy with the results and that's probably all that matters. I'm also really pleased that in the final photos you don't see all the clips and clamps and random bits of timber that are holding this all together. And that's the joy of photography. Now, if you've enjoyed this video or you've got any questions, leave me a comment below. Click on the bell icon to get regular notifications of all the brand new videos right here on Adorama TV. And of course, click on that subscribe button. I'm Gavin Hoey, thanks for watching.